Being married to a Catholic, what's it like? Well, the first thing I want to say is I've probably got a bit more um, background on this than a lot of other people um, because I'm not English, I'm Scottish. Um, we have Catholic Protestant issues in Scotland. I was also in Ireland just after Bloody Sunday and dealing with that issue there. Um, my, my father was in the armed forces. So I'm aware Catholic Protestants in this severe way. A lot of people may not even be aware of these sort of things, but a little example of this is uh, my father, when he was a child, he was at one of his relatives' houses. Now, we're, we're Protestant. majority of our family are Protestant. But his uncle actually said, why is that Catholic dog in my house? <laughs> That's, that is a divide between Catholics and Protestants. Um, dock workers on the ships in Glasgow, Catholics used to get all the overtime because they had bigger families. Things like that. There's, there's a lot of hatred. Rangers and Celtic still got that divide. Um, is it getting any better? I would say it's probably toned down a bit, but a lot of the stuff in Ireland is actually lied about uh, because they deregulated the IRA and UD, uh, Ulster Defence League um, to gangs instead of terrorists. This was all done by Blair so that he could actually go, oh, look, I made the island all peaceful. Complete lies. They ended up with a. They've actually the IRA are currently the biggest uh, gang in Europe. Um, they, with them being deregulated, there's no control, no spying, etc. It's all being reduced, and it let them run rampant right across Europe. So, from that point of view, the Philippines is very tame. <laughs> uh, being married to a Catholic, first thing you want to know is getting married in a church. If you're not a Catholic, you're going to have to request to get married. Um, this is normally to a bishop or somebody else of seniority that can allow you to get married in a Catholic church. If not, or you don't want to, right, you will have to get married at the next office. You know, the office is normally a town hall, uh, the courthouse, whatever is the civil way of getting married in the Philippines where you are. Uh, baptisms and stuff our kids are baptised means absolutely nothing to me but it's important to my wife so I just let it go over my head not really a problem for me I respect my wife's choice of religion but at the same time she's not overly religious she's not preaching the church every day and not dragging the bible out from under the bed at night it's, it's a normal relationship you know it's I know other people have got partners that are obsessive with these little icons, these uh, wooden statues and stuff they have around the house and things, and they're a bit more into it. Here in Spain, like I said, we've had fireworks going off at four in the morning where these people are out doing their walk or whatever for, for some religious thing. And it's predominantly old people here. There's the, there doesn't seem to be any young people. It's normally like... 60 year old people at four in the morning with some fireworks and some bells and stuff doing whatever they do leave them to it doesn't bother me they're not burning people so don't really care um the main thing you have to do is accept each other's space now that's very different difficult for catholics i've had arguments with catholics before um, some are sort of devout Catholics where they want to spread the word and I'm saying respect my wishes as well I'm not interested leave me alone I'm quite happy to have a beer with you chat whatever but do not spout this stuff I am not interested in I do not care I have no interest in the Catholic faith whatsoever I've got no interest in any faith whatsoever it's just not my thing you know it's it's an opportunity for those that want to follow it go ahead but do not talk to me about it, and I don't care that you're told you have to spread it. I'm telling you, I don't want to hear it. You respect my views as well as your own. You know, I'm I'm telling you, respect my space. Do the same, otherwise I will get quite offensive, <laughs> because I do not want to be bothered with people ramming it down my throat. Um, but generally, you don't really have too many issues. There, there is the odd. Um, like the weddings and all that but you get that in any family it's not like you have to go to church every Sunday or all the time unless you actually marry somebody that follows that what I found 
with an expat that took his wife to the UK is she used to go all the time. Then she started to see how hypocritical a lot of the people are that go to church. And then it sort of became once a week. And then it became once a month. And now she realized she can pray at home and doesn't need to go to the church because the church has nothing to do with her religion. Her interpretation and following her own views and praying, etc., is more to do with her. You know, this is why the Protestant and Catholic thing sort of divides, where the Protestants follow the book. The Catholics seem to add extra books, um, but also it strays away to suit too many things from what I've seen in the Philippines. I'm not, I'm not talking about uh, Protestants any better. I'm just saying from what I've seen in the Philippines. You, you hear things during politic, politics, for example, where the church is playing its um, card to get a bit of power. Um, the, the health bill, for example, trying to block the contraception and things like that. That, for me, is where government and religion need to separate. So put that to one side but generally you will not have too many problems at all uh, because as long as you go through the process of saying look if you want to follow your religion I respect your choice I respect what you want to do but you know if you want to follow it that's fine but from my point of view no issue with people want to go to church stuff I go to church now and again just out of interest um the early morning masses on the run-up to christmas are quite interesting because there's just a ridiculous amount of people it's all in sobrano there's no english spoken but it is nice to see how quiet people can be when there's several thousand people all stood in the street you know the, the church is overflowing there's people all lined up on the street to listen to the prayers etc and it's quite an experience, you know, like I said, I'm not religious, don't follow religion, but I do respect people's religion. I just ask that they don't bother me with it in a forceful way, and, it's, and that's pretty much how everybody's got on, you know, as long as you ain't bugging me about it, I won't start ripping it apart, so simple as that. Hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, I don't see any issues with it. You may get the odd one from the church doing a bit of manipulation, depending how manipulated it is. They can get the claws into your partner, but that's that's few and far between. Um, even, I mean, I, I know a lot of people that are really religious and they still have common sense. They know there's, when there's paedophilia, for example, they will actually tell their kids do not stay behind with the priests and stuff like that. And I'm saying that openly because it's true. Um, they'll actually turn around and say, do not stay behind with a priest. Do not stay with a priest on your own. Now, the, this, for me, it seems a bizarre scenario where people actually accept that it goes on and listen to this guy preaching to them. And at the same time, it's illegal, immoral, and just wrong. All right. Thanks for watching.